Hello everyone, it's Dale with Thimbles, Threads, and More. I am outside in the garage. The shipper just delivered my Rico RI 100 printer. So I'm about to unbox, join in on the fun. So the box, I've opened the box and in there was a USB cord was right here. And then you have all of these items. Uh, looks like a power cord and some other items that I'm going to take out. And then we look like we have one of the trays and it should be a size A4 tray and it's got instructions on the top and I'm gonna take that out as well. The other box I brought in the house, it has what looks to be like some swabs and some baggies. And these look like cleaning cloths and gloves are there. And I bet that's some kind of waste collector box. And here are some little their foam and there's a cleaning fluid right there and there's something there's a, a clear plastic bottle there I'm sure we'll find out what these are for pretty soon so my sweet hubby has taken the printer out and this is what the printer looks like and it's still got the tape I will read the instructions and get it uh, untaped and get the inks loaded. The inks are here. And so I also have the smaller tray, which is the A5 here. And there's that cord I mentioned that I took out earlier. There's the USB cord. I've got them side by side. And of course they can stack and these shouldn't be removed because I use those to stack the items on top. The printer on top of the oven or the finisher, as it's called. All tape, the orange tape has been removed and I have inserted the ink cartridges. I have the high yield ones and you can't mess this up. They have the guide there and then inside. So. I was able to put those in order as you see. So I decided to stack the printer on top of the finisher. There were some um, little grooves, of course, on top and they fit perfectly into the hole. I plugged in my power cord and I'm just, the directions didn't say so, but I just opened this little box and the power cord just traveled on through there. So I just did it didn't need any instructions and it's dropping down through the table and I've got to plug it in and of course I see another plug right there and I'm going to plug in so the finisher is plugged in you can see there is the printer plugged in to the power source I'm going to push this power button here and it should load all the ink once all the ink has loaded it will say ready so while the ink is taking about five to eight minutes to set i am unwrapping the a4 tray so that i can set the tray and then we're going to hook up the driver so again there is orange tape and it runs under there and let's just try squeezing this there we are it pops up so then we can remove the rest of the plastic there we go yay that was simple and then we have some up there and we'll take it off 
there's the ready button for the ink and I have taken the tray and I have slid it in and I want to press this button and see what happens. Nothing yet, but it says to get the tray ready. And I believe it's ready because it says ready. And now we're going to connect the USB and let's set up the drivers. This box right here is what we open to not throw off, but <laughs> set up the drivers. And we're going to use this one on the left hand side because it matches. And there little barrel shape let's see that's in there that was a little tricky and then the other part goes into my laptop so in the directions there is a link that takes you to your printer drivers and I want to get you to that to that part let's see in this it takes you to your printer drivers and it tells you which one to choose or you choose other and then you download it the download pops up and you follow that through and a little box will pop up and It'll tell you to unzip or run when zip. So there are some directions and everything I've read about installing the driver says to not use the CD-ROMs as we want to be sure we install the latest driver um, support and um, software. So I did it through online and there is the software. It has been also been installed onto my PC. I looked for it to say Mac. It did not say anything about doing it with Mac. So I'm on the PC. And I don't have a clue about this, but we will do a video on printing. But that is all we had to do is set it up and now it's installed. So I feel a bit successful.